Hey guys, and welcome back. So, for the first time, we are not looking at Crown Falls. We're looking at uh, Colesborne, my little uh, worker town over here. And I was thinking earlier, I was like, oh, I need I'm to move all person. those. You're a happy person. I am cursed, you guys. I I'm cursed. Every time you I start a recording, this happens. Everybody shut way. up. <laughs> Anyways, um... Yeah, I was thinking about it, and I was like, oh, I'm going to move all of the bakeries and stuff over here, and it's going to be a cool thing. And then I was like, wait a minute, I can't do that. I need my bakeries to be electrified. So the bakeries all need to go down to this island down here instead. So today is going to be, I'm going to go ahead and get all those bakeries moved down to this island and get a, uh, I have, excuse me, I have a trade union set up right here. So I'm going to get a, uh, I'm going to get all of those bakeries moved, and they're probably going to go right into uh, this little spot right here. So, which means I'll just kind of shift this fella back a little bit, probably, just so I can keep all of those workers where they're at. So let's get started on that instead of me talking about it. Okay, how many we've got? One, two. This also means I don't have to transport flour. One, two, three, you know, what am I doing? What am I doing? Workers, bread. Okay, 14 of them. So, what we're going to do first is go here. We're going to cut out. Where is that trade route at? There it is. Okay, we're going to cut out all of that. We're just going to tell it to, uh... yeah, we're just going to cut, oh, whoops. See, what I want it to do is to actually tell it to load none. I don't want to get rid of it. I want it to tell it to load none, but still unload any flour that they have in their current stocks. So, I want them to do that. Now, let's get all of these guys moved somewhere. I believe everything is covered by that, yeah. Probably gonna be a little. It's gonna take a little finagling. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, 14 of these guys, and they all need to be within the range of the trade union as well. So that probably means we're gonna have to uh, move some stuff over here around because I need them all on top of that trade union. What's he getting? A workforce reduction one? That's actually kind of nice, too. Now, let's get all these fit in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he's just out of range. Just out of range. That's fine. We'll make this work. Oh, geez. See, here's going to be the problem. gonna have enough competitors are now at war ceasefire has ended yeah I'm losing workers because I had those in range of a trade of the uh, town hall which just means I need to build a, another town hall somewhere and set up another one of these sort of situations I had going we lack the requisite materials. Okay. Okay, so there's ten. Although he is out of range, but that should be okay. I'm going to actually go up here and destroy probably like all but like just say let's two let's say, yeah we'll just say two of them and destroy okay let's squeeze one in right there although I think I'd rather squeeze him in right there I 
I gotta I gotta resituate all this stuff. It's it's kind of a disaster zone over here of buildings. Okay, let's see. This can also get moved. Move some more houses out of the way here. And we've got 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it works for the moment. Now I could. Let's do the this. Let's do this. Hold on. road right here. Okay, now. There we go. Now we can do that, and we can do that. And we can do like so. Now they're all nicely packed in there. Exactly where I want them. So I can do this. There we go. Perfect. That's what I was looking for. Now. Love to get this guy right here in there somehow. Somewhere. Maybe. Not gonna quite fit unless I go right there with it. Which. Can I? Can I without completely destroying? Yeah, I could do this. Okay, there we go. That should do. That gives me plenty of coverage on all of that. Now, the point of doing this was... Let's go back to the main island here. A new commission. Sure, a clipper will work. We have a specialist up here that I want for the trade union. Where is he at? There he is. Grapes and chocolate. Bring you down here. Now let's work on these trade routes right there. Where's this one at? I've already passed it. There it is. Let's see if I can't find those two uh, ships. You're that one. You're that one. Okay, you are the malt. That you've already dropped off. Hang on a minute. Oh yeah, reporting in. Okay, and you've still got a little bit of that right there. I'm gonna do something I normally don't do. Okay. New orders. Not enough to call it extortion. Okay, so now we're gonna tell it to pick up. We're actually gonna tell this right here to pick up chocolate. Just, you know, all the chocolate. Now comes the question, do I need two of them on that route? The answer to that is possibly not. So let's take, uh, which one is this one? Mother Goose? 
Okay, let's take Mother Goose off that trade route. Let's see if I can't find Mother Goose here. That's the Goblin Shark. Where were you at? Okay, where did he just go? I just saw him a second ago. Uh, we are reporting in. Soap. Chocolate. Chow, chook. Where did Goose go? There we go. Wait a second, I thought I took you off. Okay, yeah, I did. Let's just throw all that overboard. Okay, we're going to tell him to go and pick up all of the bread from there to there. All right, you, bread. All that awesome bread. Cool beans, all right. Got bread going now. All right, he is going to go in here, and so that guy right there is awesome because he lets me produce chocolate and grapes from the bakery. So now my break, my uh, breakeries, my bakeries will make chocolate as well. Wonderful. That is going to help a lot. This island is awful ugly, but you know what? It works. And we're good with that. Let's send you back. Actually, let's see. Is there any... What all other items do we have sitting around in here? Okay, he's fine. He's fine. That can stay. That can stay. Okay. Yeah. Go back on up home. All right, cool. So there, that takes care of our bread production situation. And that got all that off of the island. I'm going to leave these two right up here, at least until they uh, run out of flour at some point, which it's going to take them a very long time to run out of flour, apparently. But they will eventually run out of flour. Finally, it's over. What I do what want to keep get? an eye on is, yeah, the, uh, the flour situation the itself. Let's see what we've got here. We've got 14 of those guys that are electrified. So, oh my goodness, do I need... Normally it's one flour mill to two bakeries. So I would need these all electrified and have it at seven. You know what? I can't do math. Where's my calculator? Let me bring that up and uh, double check that because I, I can't do math in my head right now. I, I'm thinking I need like... For some reason, I'm thinking I need 14 of those windmills. Oh my gosh, is that right? Am I Am I thinking of this right? Okay. Intermediate products. Actually, I've got way too many of these things. Let's, uh... Let me think here. I might need to shut some of these down. I've actually got 4,300 workers here. Okay, and the is at 150. Okay. So I need two for this island. I need two specifically for this island. Although, isn't he prov Am I? Yeah, I'm actually getting bread from that, so I don't really need that. I'm actually going to take this down from 14 to uh, celebrate your leadership. To, to, to 10. We're going to have 10 that are producing instead of uh, 14. We'll have 10 that are producing. That means I need 
seven of these guys, and I believe I have them working at 150. Yeah, I do. So I need seven of these. Uh, unless I go and electrify them, which is probably going to be something that happens here pretty soon, is I'm going to get them electrified at some point. And then... And I've actually got enough grain, so I think we're good now. I think that's going to be enough to keep these all producing at 200%. We will... Uh, I will keep an eye on the flour, and I think we should be good after that. Everything else is looking okay. Beef, meh, whatever. It's going to go down. It's just, it's going to be how it is. It is what it is. I don't really care. Everything else is fine. All that chocolate coming in. All that extra chocolate. That is a good thing. Who are you? Oh, you're uh, sending sand, right? Everything else is fine except coffee, and we're completely out of cigars now. So we're going to have to go bump cigars back up. Slowly running out of jewelry and champagne. I did see some of that over here. Let's go over here and grab some of that real quick. While we're doing that, let's think about what else we can kind of get. I've got to start figuring out this little uh, spot right here, because this is going to be where our botanical garden goes next week. So I need to move some of this around we've got four lumberjack hut uh yeah four lumberjack no five lumberjack huts and two sawmills that need to get moved over and i kind of want to get this moved out because i want to get our city expanded up here so it kind of flows real nicely into the botanical garden I'm also going to move this somewhere else for right now and get it out of the... That's not a road. That's... That's also not a road. Oh god, where's a road? There, that's a road. There we go. I want it out of my way. Alright, so what have we got here? We've got a copper mine and we've got a zinc mine up here. Let's get our harbor expanded. Let's do something fun this episode. I haven't done anything fun in a while. Like expanding something or making something nice. I miss it. I, I really miss it right now. And I have to work at my farm all day tomorrow, so I want to do something fun right now. Because working at the farm is not always fun. It's like legit work. Let's do that. I just, I don't really like the sailing shipyard. I'm just something about it, I just don't like. I don't like this sticking out there like that. I don't, I don't know. That bothers me. I know that's what they look like, but I don't know. I don't much care for that design. That thing sticking out. But eh, whatever. Um, okay, so new little harbor front area right here. See, where's the edge of this road? Let's go over there with it. Uh, oh, that's right. I had that funny little spot right there. I wasn't sure how to uh, too many changes, how to know. deal with that. All right, we've got the newspaper. A lake of blissful calm. That is that is the. Uh, the I'm name of the about. game right now. A lake of blissful calm in my life. We're in the presence of a virtuoso. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to wait, because now I'm busy. Trying to decide where to put a building. This glass factory needs to go somewhere else. But it, but it, but it needs to be electrified. So it needs to be somewhere. You know what, fine. Stay there. Um, ooh, our Aristelia... But I do not know. Uh, it's Ariel. Let's just call her Ariel. How about that? What do you do? You're new. Oh, residences are provided with champagne. Ooh. Well, aren't you lovely? Do I have a town hall available for you? 
that's my that's extra resonance that's extra money um what we got up here actually this one right here can probably go away because I, this is all um may there be more good news for yeah you. i don't see any investors that are or engineers that are being oh i see one Wait, right there proceed without hitch I don't care about that one. So the, she's that's all investors. So let's go and put that. And the there. That takes care of champagne for them. So that cuts out the champagne. I could I would love a few more of her. Huh. Cool. Free champagne. Good deal. Okay. So this is going to be an, an unelectrified area over here. I'm not going to be extending electricity into this section right here so let's think about some stuff to put down there that doesn't need electricity and that I could use in a uh, spot like that I really don't have anything everything needs to be electrified doesn't it um, yeah it really all does Glass factory central right there. Well, you know what? I guess it doesn't have to be. We'll just, uh... I'll just make this a, uh, little port side. Little town, I guess you could call it almost. Drag some roads around through here, kind of haphazard like. That's how I roll with the haphazard. Oh, of course it doesn't fit. Look at that. It's one off. Of course it's one off. It's always one off. But it's not one off that way. So, you know what that means? That means that's going to be a park. That's what that means. That means that's just going to be a park. Every Let's take up. that one out. Give a little separation between the houses and the docks. At least, uh, at least try to give a little separation. There we go. That'll do. Not exactly the little... I don't like these edges like this. Um, developers, please do something about that to where these come together and like blend together nicely. Um, I would I would love that if you could make these blend together to create a seamless transition because this drives me in absolutely insane. Like the only way I really know to fix it is to make it, try to make it a square as best I can. You reach a new milestone. Is, you know, try to do that with it. But it doesn't work out quite right because of situations like that. So, uh, yeah. Please, please make these transitions a little bit nicer. For those of us like me that are extraordinarily picky about our, about our docks. Okay, that's a little bit better. Um, all right, you are going to want a marketplace, so let's stick one in, say, right... Actually, you know what? No, no, no. I like my little square right there. Take it back. Put it in right there. Now, right here, we're going to make just a... Just a simple little park, nothing, nothing too fancy. Just a simple little, nice little park. Ah, grab the wrong thing. There, that's what I want. This. Okay, there we go. And in the middle, let's grab our investor thing, and we will just put a little gazebo in the center. And just a nice little park right there. Now. 
let's ring the uh, marketplace because I think I'm going to leave that marketplace similar to how I kind of did over there kind of just left a marketplace because this is going to be like a worker town mostly artisans over here or rather it's going to be all artisans over here comes the first place where we're going to have to do a little uh, rearranging, as it were. Come on, come on. There we are. Put the road in. No, not, not that. That, there we go. Okay, squeeze some of that right there in. And for the, for my own sanity I think I want to take let's see move that it's only going to give me two tiles if I go there that'll give me three tiles yeah let's do this what are we going to do this mess here. Okay, let's take out let's take out some of these farmer houses because we're about to need some space. You probably already see exactly what I'm doing. space right there in the middle. Um, take those two out. We'll take these two corner ones out. And we'll stick our little corner pieces in. Okay. And that leaves a nice big gap in the middle. Actually, it'd be kind of cool if I could... Uh, Bring that out one more tile, actually. Get out of my way. I don't want to see another one of those for a long time. I'm so trying to deal with the uh, fur coats right now. I can make this work. Hold on. Yeah, I can make this happen. Yeah, that'll be fine. We can do that. Now I'm going to drag a couple of these back over uh, to there and there. Whoops. There we go. Something like that right there. Alright, I like that. We can move a couple of these over here. Move that back there. Move that there. Take that out, and we'll actually expand our little park that I made. Like so. If I see another biscuit. Let's see. Let's move you to there and there. That'll do. We'll go there, and we'll go there with it. Whoops. There we go. Just a nice little bit. We'll make a bit bigger park in the middle for that right there. Um, in the middle for it, let's do a... It's a little off-center. So we'll do something like so. Grab our workers, 
toss a couple of trees up, and then we'll just do grass in the middle. There if we go. You don't exploit this, some other yeah, well, yeah, it's just going to be exploited. Okay, we'll do that there. Let's take out this random road that I built, and we'll leave this open because I may stick a factory or something right there. And then in the middle of all this right there, just for right now until I can uh, deal with it later, we'll just fill that in with some trees. That kind of opens it up so it's not so packed in there and everything. Those will be getting enough people here shortly. Do they actually have school access? No, they don't. That's like, oh, they actually have school access. They do not. They're gonna want another, They're gonna want a school. Not the biggest contract I've executed. Not the biggest contract I've ever executed. Uh, you know what? Let's do the school right here. Put a school across from the marketplace. That'll do. All right, good deal. And. Yeah, they're going to want a church. We'll put a church back here, too. You know what? We'll do a church on the other side. How about that? Nope, needs a little bit more room. Church back here. There we go. And a church. There we go. Good deal. Then go shopping while the kids are at school, and then go to church. All in one little spot. And it doesn't look too bad either. Are these guys ready to upgrade? Just about. He, oh, he's a new one. So, yeah, and that's the only other farmer house I have left. Alright. Now, while that's building, let's get... That moved around. Oh, and lovely. He fits perfectly. I'll toss some roads in right there. Move him down there. Let's get this road shifted up one and down. And figure that out in a second. Alright, let's uh, get rid of this old dirt road right here. And we'll just bring all of this over one. And then close it in. There we go. Cool. Now, right here, of course, this guy is just going to be annoying, aren't you? Let's see. And... Trees for days, lots of trees. Fill all that back there in with trees. Hide everything. Oh my goodness, we finally reached and built up to the edge over there. I thought I'd never get there. But we made it. We finally did it. I'd like to put him right there, but he won't be um, electrified unless I do something about all this over here. Let's see. See what we can't fix here. Uh, get out of my way for a moment. Okay, so if he goes there. I don't want him near the dock just because oh, really? stuff catches on fire all the around. time. Let's put that there. And 
man. Let's go see who we got at Tajara. Probably nobody. We don't get anybody good here. Yeah, just a random firefighter. That could only come over one more tile. That would be absolutely ideal if it would come over one more tile. Aha. I have a Let's put him right here. That'll do. Put him up there. And... Of course, he's just going to go right back where I moved him from. That's fine. It, it, these things happen with me. Move something all over the place just to move it right back to where I had it originally. And oh my gosh, we're already at 37 minutes. What has happened to the time, y'all? Hey, well, you know, fear not. This is episode 35. So five more. Actually, I have a secret for you, and I'll go ahead and let you know there will be a one-hour special for the release of Botanica. So be looking forward to that. This episode is coming out on a Saturday, the Saturday before. So there won't be an episode on uh, the next episode, which would be on Sunday tomorrow, or rather two days from now, because I'm recording this today early, whatever. Um, you'll have one more 30-minute episode, basically. And then episode 37 is actually going to be a one-hour special because it's going to be the b release of the Botanica DLC, and I want to get all up in that thing. So I'm going to try to do some work on the game off-camera for a little while and get some stuff cleaned up and worked on and get things ready for Botanica to be released because there's a lot of new stuff coming in, so I want to get some stuff prepared for it. So be on the lookout for that in the next episode. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below, subscribe for more content from me, and we'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.